Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we finally have the confirmation as to who the Crystal King is, and uh, it's something that a lot of us kind of expected. I'll just say that right off the bat. However, in terms of spoilers, yes, this video will contain spoilers for Ninjago Crystallized episode 13. That episode has been released in some type of foreign language. However, the English subtitled version is now out thanks to a couple of awesome Ninjago fans making fan translations. And yes, we're going to be diving into very quick spoilers in today's video. So if you don't want to know anything about Ninjago Crystallized episode 13, you should probably click off the video now, check out something else on the channel, check out a different video. And you can indeed find subtitled versions of the episode online right now. And after watching through the entirety of the subtitled version of episode 13, I didn't really find too much that I had missed in my initial breakdown of the episode, except for the fact that the Crystal King reveals that he is in fact the Overlord. So there you go, that official confirmation is there. The translation is very rough like I said, but essentially the Crystal King, after reviving Harumi, mentions that he went by many names before, such as the Overlord, the Golden Master, and now the Crystal King. While he may introduce himself as the Crystal King, that is very much still the Overlord. And I'm not really sure what name this guy prefers. I'm not sure what name is the best name for him. For the sake of consistency, I will still call him the Overlord, just because that's what I've always known him as. And yeah, the show wastes no time letting the audience know that the Crystal King and the Overlord are one and the same person. Essentially, the episode breaks it down like the Overlord was just kind of loitering around Ninjago City, somehow found Harumi, was watching her for a while, then once she eventually did die in the building collapse, he communicated with her and revived her, brought her back to life so she could work for him. At least that's what the translation say, again, the English version is not officially out just yet. It is really nice though to finally get that confirmation as bluntly as possible. The Crystal King is the Overlord. Sure, the Overlord's name was referenced in the Ninjago Crystallized Part 2 trailer, but it's not like they directly said, hey, the Crystal King is the Overlord. But now in episode 13, we finally get that confirmation and now I can finally, I can finally be at rest knowing that the Overlord is back and he means business. So with that being said, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here today. Just a very quick video here. Again, just wanted to cover this because it is is quite significant in my opinion, the Overlord returning and being confirmed 100% finally, that's just awesome to see. So leave a comment down below discussing what you think about the circumstances surrounding this big reveal, and how do you feel about the Overlord finally being back officially in Ninjago Crystallized. Thank you all so much for watching, my name is Tanner Fishies, and I will talk to you guys again in the next video. Peace.